Hey guys, Mars Dingen here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video and earlier today we got the hype news for Global that the Monkey King himself is on his way. We've been memeing about it a lot on uh, Twitter and stuff lately. But yes, the uh, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, the best TUR in the game still at this point on JP, uh, is coming to Global. Uh, we were looking at the dates and stuff the other day. In-game at the moment, all of the events, like the in-game uh, login rewards, the like special missions, all that stuff, ends on the final day of the month. Um, and that lines up kind of perfectly with the fact that the first of the month is a Monday, which is usually when units come out. It's like Monday evening in America, Tuesday morning for me. So that's when I'm sort of guessing that this banner is going to drop. So this is what they normally do. They put something like this in the news and then we have to wait like two or three days. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking Monday is when this is going to be. So obviously this is the introduction of the new unit, the new stage to the event. Because that's the announcement itself is always just to say that the actual Dokon event is coming. But obviously the unit comes alongside that. And then the other extra little thing we have in the news, which is quite cool is the uh, additional stage is going to be added to the Seven Shadow Dragon Saga story event. Um, I actually had to look this up on the wiki first because I, I couldn't even remember which event this was because uh, of all the different old story events that are in the game. So it's this one here. It's the one that you get the farmable Vegeta Jr. from. So I imagine a lot of people are probably in the same boat as me where you did this event when it first came out to get the Vegeta Jr. and then you would have never looked at it or touched it ever again because it didn't really have any specific things to like farm outside of the Vegeta. Because you know there's them story events that come back every now and then where there's like a farmable currency that you can then buy Kai's and stuff like that from the shop. But this one didn't have one of those. So I would imagine if you were playing the game when this event first came out, once you'd got your Vegeta all maxed out and everything, you probably never even looked at this event again, which is the position that I was in. So a new stage is being added, which gives skill orbs. So this is this final stage here. You can either fight the GT, like Young Goku and uh, GT base Vegeta, or the Super Saiyan 4 versions. So does it say anything specifically in here about that? Um, so basically the main point, it doesn't give any extra information, but the main point of the event is that it drops skill orbs that are for Shadow Dragon Saga characters only. So obviously this is cool that this is dropping now. Um, it can only be done once a day. Um, but yeah, so if we look at the skill orbs, this is the list on the wiki here. So it shows you like the different events. So obviously at the moment, it just says JP only, which is currently the case. But as you can see here, you can't get bronze skill orbs from this. You can only get silver or gold, which is cool. So if we click on to silver and then let's have a look down here. There it is. So we can get levels 1 to 3 HP, attack, defense, levels 1 to 4, type defense, uh, type attack. I think one of them should be something else, shouldn't it? Why is that on there twice? No, they both say the same thing. I don't know, I don't know why that's on there twice, but uh, super attack boost and recovery boost. So none of these are particularly crazy. Obviously, if you get like a level three attack or defense, depending on the unit that you want to put it into, that's not the worst thing, I suppose. Um, but I mean, they're free skill orbs, so can't really complain about that. But the gold ones, if we have a look at the gold ones here for this event, there it is. You can get level three crit, level three additional and level three dodge. So this is obviously where you want that good luck to come in because just like the Whis event where you can fight Beerus at the end and then Beerus drops a guaranteed gold, uh, unfortunately with that one, because the whole pool of skill orbs is available in that event, like I keep, every I feel like every time I've ever had Beerus show up in the event, it gives me like a gold, um, like health up thing or something, like or gold dodge or something that I don't really want. I, I have yet to see like the gold level five crit or something, but even though it's only level three, because obviously some events can give uh, crit an additional on that up to five, but it's free. And if you can get lucky enough to get it to drop, like the fighting the Super Saiyan fours only means it's a guaranteed gold drop. So if you get good RNG, even without them appearing, you obviously still can get a um, gold skill orb so this is awesome because obviously someone out there um, out of all the people playing the game just like you see people pulling like 
LRs on their first single summon on the banner and stuff like that. Somebody out there is going to pull Gogeta and then jump into this event uh, for their one run of the day and then get like a level 3 crit orb that they can then put straight into Gogeta. I guess technically it is a gold one so you have to get two dupes but... From the posts that I've been making recently, I have seen that you guys are pretty hype for the arrival of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I absolutely will be going ham for him. Um, yeah, he's the best TUR in the game. We'll have a quick look at him here. I'm going to do a more detailed video about the banner and stuff. I'll, I'll do probably one of those, like Should You Summon, where we talk about how the banner could change. But the two units that we know 100% are going to be on there is obviously the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta himself. So he is a Giant 8 Power and uh, Shadow Dragon Saga category lead. Um, obviously one of the main reasons people are so hyped for this guy is uh, because of all the heroes Super Saiyan 4s that came towards the end of last year. I even said this at the time, like I said it on the 5-9 uh, podcast, I think I said it on Twitter, like it was a smart idea then bringing them out on global at the same time as well because then somebody like me, I went pretty heavy into the heroes banner, I pulled all of the Super Saiyan 4s, I've leveled them all up to full level 10 links, so now for me... I have to pull this Gogeta. Like, I really want to run that full Super Saiyan 4 team. And obviously, Broly has a giant 8 power lead, but it's only 130. Whereas this guy, 170 across the board as well. It's not even 170 to 2 and 130 to 1. So that full level 10 length Super Saiyan uh, 4 team is going to be absolutely ridiculous. Um, so I'm not going to walk away from the banner until I've pulled at least one copy of him. Uh, I've got quite a few stones that I'm going to save up, so... Hopefully we can get dupes, but I must get at least one copy. So hopefully the uh, the luck will be with me. But yeah, so his super attack, the Big Bang Kamehameha, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, does immense damage to the enemy. So obviously if you can get an additional super with him, that's another raise for that turn. So not only a little bit more damage, but even more defense. Which, you know, it's not like he needs a ton more defense, because at the start of the turn he gets attack and defense 200%. Then he gets key plus four plus an additional attack and defense 40% and attacks effective against all types for eight turns from the start of the turn. Like, even if that itself was just his passive, he would already be absolutely insane. Because for the first eight turns, you're getting 240% attack and defense, four key, which basically means auto supering, um, and then attacks effective against all types. Because, obviously, you know, you're never going to run this guy on a team where he doesn't link up with anyone. But the fact that under double free key leads, he's going to be starting the turn on 10 key. And then he has Shocking Speed, Over in a Flash, GT, and Fused Fighter, all of which are key links. So if you have even one of those activated with him in the first eight turns, he's already got 12 key. Um, then he has a high chance of attacks effective against all types from the ninth turn. So after that eight turns thing runs out, he loses the additional 40% attack and defense, but still has a high chance of getting attacks effective against all types, which is 50%. Um, and then he has a high chance of evading enemy super attacks and countering with tremendous power, which is 50%. It's the only thing that people were disappointed when his information first came out for JP, that his counter chance was only 50%, whereas the old tech... Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta had 70%. But when you look at all of the rest of his kit combined, if he had 70% chance to counter supers, he would be even more ridiculously broken than he already is. Um, speaking of which, <laughs> he also has an active skill. So his active skill gives all enemies attack and defense minus 40% and own attack and defense plus 40% for one turn. So massively nerfing the enemy's damage output as well as lowering their defense a little bit while giving himself a massive boost if you can get this within the first eight turns then obviously he already has his um oh sorry he still has his full passive from the start of the fight so that is going to push him up to numbers that are going to be absolutely ridiculous and uh, it can be activated after receiving damage four or more times in battle. So bear in mind it says receiving damage. So if he dodges or if he counters a super, that doesn't count. So he has to, actually has to take damage four times. So something like Super Battle Road, depending on where all the attacks are stacked up, it would be very easy for you to get him hit four times in the first turn. And then he comes around on turn three. You can use his active skill. Super Battle Road is obviously a place where like nerfing the enemy's attack by 40% is insane. And then just the sheer amount of boost that it gives to him. He's basically just going to one-shot anyone that you target with him on that turn. 
uh, that you've used the active skill. So he's pretty ridiculous. And then obviously his other links, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Fierce Battle. That obviously means he's on the Kamehameha category. He's on fusions, of course, Shadow Dragon Saga, Final Trump Card, and Giant 8 Power. All pretty uh, predictable categories for him. But yeah, yet another uh, big buff for the Kamehameha team outside of the... Um, you know, the team, the, like, Giant 8 Power, Shadow Dragon Saga, like, Kamehameha. You could run him and the Super Saiyan 4 Vegito together. So, the only thing that you would say is a shaft for this guy. And uh, we did joke about it when he came out on JP. As you can see from his Link set, he does not have Saiyan Raw. Because, like, Saiyan Raw is the best attack link that the Super Saiyan 4s have. But bear in mind, like, everything else that his kit does, I think it's the same reason why they didn't give the original Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta Saiyan Raw. Because when the original one came out, if he'd had Saiyan Raw, he would have been even more powerful. And he was one of the best units in the game when he came out. Um, especially on, like, Global, where, you know, as much as people cry about the to-be-released thing... I don't consider that a global shaft because it means we got to get Gogeta early rather than have to wait for them to introduce categories. And when he came out, if you put him on your like super types team under Vegito Blue or like the the tech team under the uh, Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, like he was one of the most powerful units in the game. So if he had Saiyan Raw, that would just make him even more ridiculous. But obviously in this world that we exist in at the moment where Dokkon doesn't really seem to care about balancing out power... I don't think it would have like been much of a huge difference for him to have had Saiyan Raw, but at the end of the day, it doesn't really hurt the unit overall. Like I said, most people consider him to be the best TUR in the game. So, And then, of course, the other unit that drops is a new Nova Shenron. This is a bit of a weird one. I, I kind of wish they'd picked one of the other dragons or given this guy a different name because we have the Tech EZA Nova Shenron in the game who was the only usable TUR Nova Shenron and he's actually really good. So now this guy, you have to choose between the two. And he is good as well. He raises attack for three turns on super, does supreme damage and seals super attacks. That's obviously useful in certain events. He gets attack and defense 140%. An additional attack and defense 40% and a high chance of performing a crit when attacking extreme class enemies, which is weird. Because, yeah, he is actually super physical. So, this is from the, uh, the towards the end of his existence in GT. Um, yeah, attack when attacking extreme class enemies. Key plus two plus an additional attack and defense 40% when there is a Shadow Dragon Saga category enemy. And then Shadow Dragon Saga category super class allies defense plus 40%. So the weird thing about this guy is his design kind of hinges around you using him on a team that has a lot more super type Shadow Dragon Saga category allies. So like the LR Super Saiyan 4s, Gogeta. Um, but of course his links lend much better to being linked up with other Shadow Dragons. So... You can obviously use him on a full extreme Shadow Dragon team. He's not going to miss out on a huge amount um, apart from giving the allies a buff. He's still going to give that to himself for his defense. Um, and then depending on what event you're going into, like for example, the Shadow Dragon Saga stage of Super Battle Road, I'm pretty sure you only fight super type enemies. So then, of course, he's not going to be getting all of those extra buffs from the rest of his passive. I'd have to double check that stage. But if they are all super, uh, extreme enemies, then... You just want to be using the tech Nova Shenron. Um, so I think it's a bit weird. I would have liked it if they'd called him like Nova Shenron brackets full power. Or if they just made a different one. Made him like Ice Shenron or something. But obviously Ice never kind of like sort of turns good. So making him a super unit that gets a whole bonus against extreme types. Probably doesn't make sense for anyone other than Nova Shenron. So I do kind of wish they'd given him a different name, but he's in Shadow Dragon Saga, Resurrected Warriors and Worthy Rivals. So he could be good in Resurrected Warriors when you're fighting extreme type enemies. But again, like he's only going to be giving the buffs to other allies that are on Shadow Dragon Saga, which isn't many people in Resurrected Warriors. So I think, unfortunately, this unit is a bit of a miss. Like he's he's solid overall and in his best case scenario, he can be pretty good. But his best case scenario just seems like such a slim like example where you'll probably never use him so a little bit of a shame and obviously this guy will go straight into the general pool after this banner so those are the two units that we know about for sure i will do a different banner a uh, different video going into the banner in more details but yeah super saiyan 4 gogeta is coming most likely on monday with an event where you can get free skill orbs for him so uh, that's going to get you off to a good start and then remember make sure you do this event um once a day like every day because even if you get like 
say you pull a bunch of copies of Gogeta and then you put like a gold, a silver and a bronze skill orb on him. These can be used on anyone from the Shadow Dragon Saga. So you've still got the LR Super Saiyan 4s. In the future, we are probably going to get a new Omega, most likely a Sin who transforms into Omega. So it's a good idea to do this event every day, even if every now and then you're getting bad drops. You're just going to slowly but surely stock up on these. And then when another big Shadow Dragon Saga unit comes out, you're going to have a bunch of free skill orbs to give them. So make sure you do that. So there you go, everyone. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta officially announced. Let me know down below if you are hyped. Obviously, we are going in. So hopefully we get that good luck. And uh, I hope any of you who summon get good luck as well. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section. So that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been the Mars Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the link to my Discord in the description. Feel free to join in the fun over there. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.